Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Michelle just plunged into midterms with big political plan, but Democrats are not happy about it. Former First Lady Michelle Obama is back once again on the political scene. This time, she is taking aim at and plunging into the midterm 2018 election. Since Michelle has been one of the most sought-after voices on the Democratic side of things, you would think the left would be thrilled by this development. Not so much. They don't seem to be happy about it at all as a matter of fact. After reading the details, I was not surprised by the frustration on the left over this. Michelle's big political plan entails starting a voter registration drive, but it will be strictly nonpartisan. The Democrats were hoping and praying she would actively campaign for their candidates and could be very disappointed in this development. But saying one thing and doing another tends to be the stock and trade of the left, so I would just keep an eye on the so-called bipartisanship of all of this. It looks iffy to me. The initiative is being launched today. Evidently, there have been months of quiet conversations and planning to pull this off. It has not been a smooth ride and the initiative has had its ups and downs as all such things do politically. Michelle Obama will appear in public service announcements to get out the vote and register people. She will also take part in live events throughout the country right up until the voting starts this fall. As expected, Michelle Obama will not be alone in her efforts. She will be joined by a number of A-list celebrities, including actor Tom Hanks, country stars Faith Hill and Tim McGraw, Houston Rockets star Chris Paul, singer Janelle Monet and Hamilton creator Lin-Manuel Miranda. All are leftists, so the bipartisanship of all this falls a bit flat if you ask me. The first PSA comes out today and there are more on the way. The group leading the initiative is named When We All Vote. I am not impressed. It is staffed with prominent Obama alumni, including Valerie Jarrett as president of the board and former First Lady Chief of Staff Tina Chen as treasurer. Pete Rouse, an Obama senior advisor who served as interim White House Chief of Staff, will also be on the board. The CEO will be Kyle Learman, a former senior policy advisor in the White House. This is another leftist Obama move to control the midterms. The group will be incorporated as a non-profit, separate from the Obama Foundation, the personal offices of Barack and Michelle Obama, and Citizen 44, the LLC that the former president himself pays for to handle his own political involvement. But there are always connections that we don't see in these groups. They are probably all connected in one way or another. Lots of money and propaganda will be utilized to sway millennials to vote for Democrats. They are supposed to raise enough to fund an $8 million budget. Organizers plan to raise the money through corporate sponsorships and foundation grants. They intend to send personal messages to people urging them to register to vote. According to one document describing the group's effort, it will partner with outlets that young Americans use most. Give me the youth and I'll deliver an election. The new group is planning a series of events building up to a late September crescendo of rallies and training. Along the way, there will be several voter registration days of action, followed by God days of action as the elections approach. Michelle Obama has been very careful when it comes to who she endorses on the left. She's picky and very savvy when it comes to politically manipulating the Democratic Party. Some Democrats are anxious that they will come up short in November and they are questioning Michelle Obama's decision to take herself off the campaign trail directly as a player. But there is definitely a game plan here that Michelle is adhering to, I just don't know what it is yet. Obama himself kidded at a Beverly Hills fundraiser last month for the Democratic National Committee that his wife was more popular than he is these days. I'm not sure that's true, but it's close. You can't afford Michelle, Obama told the high-dollar crowd. Of that, I have no doubt. Mrs. Obama is really excited about this voter registration effort, and her fall schedule is still coming together, said one person close to her. I would imagine that the Obamas are very involved in these midterms not only in the open but even more so behind the scenes. The Democrats can mope over Michelle's seeming reticence at wanting to support her party, but I am positive that is all she is actually doing. She is also giving paid speeches and writing her 400-page memoir, Becoming, that is due out November 13, a week after Election Day. The voter registration drive fits with a larger theory about political engagement that Michelle shares with her husband, the more people who vote, they believe, the better it will be for Democrats overall. Obama will hit the campaign trail for candidates, but he also has been stressing nonpartisan engagement through his foundation. Forget about the Clinton machine, this is now the Obama machine. Dems should not fret, Michelle Obama will always be for the diehard leftists of the Democratic Party. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.